If you're looking to increase sales and build customer loyalty on Shopify, one of the best ways to do this is to add a newsletter or email sign up to your online store. Email marketing has been a proven method to not only generate more sales, but also engage customers, build brand authority, and even re-engage customers that may not have made a purchase on their first visit to your store. On Shopify, you can easily add an email sign up to multiple sections of your online store, including your homepage, product pages, collections, and even your footer. This allows you to collect customer emails to start sending newsletters, which you can use to promote products, provide company updates, notify customers of exclusive deals, and much more. In this video, I'll be walking you through the entire process of setting up email marketing on Shopify, including how to add an email signup form to your store pages, install your selected email marketing app, and sync the app with Shopify to build your email list and start sending targeted marketing campaigns to customers. So to get started, let's head over to Shopify and go over how to set up email marketing in your online store. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial. No credit card is required to unlock your free trial, and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely one of the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. Here's where you can manage your products, view your analytics, and edit your online store to add an email sign up. To add a newsletter or email sign up to our online store, we'll have to customize our Shopify theme. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the online store tab. This will take you to a page where you can view and manage your Shopify store theme. So to edit my theme and add a newsletter sign up, let's click the customize button at the bottom right. This will take you to the Shopify theme editor where you can customize your theme. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to add an email sign up form to various sections of your Shopify store. This will allow customers to easily enter their email and sign up to receive your newsletter, updates, or anything else you send in your email campaigns. I'm currently editing my homepage, so let's go ahead and add an email sign up here. To add an email sign up section, let's look at the menu on the left hand side. Here you can view all the sections that are currently enabled on your Shopify store. If you scroll down to the bottom, you should see a tab that says Add Section. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the various sections that are available to add to your Shopify theme. To find the email sign up form, you can simply look through the tabs here or use the search bar up top. If I type in email, it should pull up the email sign up option. If you click this, the email sign up form will then be added to your Shopify homepage. Now using the menu on the left, you can edit the email sign up section by customizing your text, your colors, and other options available with your theme. Keep in mind that some themes may have more options than others, but you should be able to edit your color scheme, your heading, and your description. Once you finish customizing your email sign up form, go ahead and click the save button at the top right. And there we have it. My email sign up form has been added to my homepage. But while we're here, let's go back to the menu on the left, go down to the bottom, and click on footer. On most themes, you should see a section that says email sign up. By clicking the checkbox here, you can easily add an email sign up to your footer as well. When you add your email sign up, you should also have a text field here where you can customize your heading. When adding your heading, make sure you let customers know what they're signing up for. So now that we've added an email sign up to our homepage and our footer, let's go up to the top right and click on save. It's always a good idea to save frequently so you don't lose any changes. Not only can you add an email sign up form to your homepage and your footer, but if you go up to the drop down menu up top here, you can select other sections of your Shopify store to edit as well. For instance, if I click on products, then click on default product to edit my default product page, I can use the Shopify theme editor to add an email sign up here as well. This will allow the email sign up to display on all of my product pages on my Shopify store. Simply follow the same process we did on the home page by going to the menu on the left, clicking on add section at the bottom, then find and select the email sign up form from the menu. You can then update the colors, the heading and your description. 
Remember to save your changes and go ahead and add an email signup form to any sections of your Shopify store you wish. Simply select the part of your Shopify store you want to edit, then follow the same process to add an email signup. So we've added an email signup form to our homepage, our footer, and other sections of our Shopify store, but there'll be nothing more than decorations until we install an email marketing app. So let's exit the Shopify theme editor and go over how to find and install an email marketing app to connect to our email signup forms. Shopify has apps for pretty much any email service that you may be using, but for my store, I'm going to be connecting MailChimp. If you haven't joined an email marketing service yet, go ahead and create an account on MailChimp or sign up for any other email marketing service you wish. Once you've created your email marketing account and logged in, go ahead and head back to your Shopify dashboard. We now have to install the email marketing app. To install the app, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the apps tab. From the search bar up top, you'll then be able to search for the email marketing app you want to add to your store. Since I'm using MailChimp, let's search for the MailChimp app. This should pull up all the apps on Shopify related to the keyword you searched for. The app I'm looking for is the first one here, which is the MailChimp email marketing app. So let's select that now. From here, you can read about the app's features and see what all it can do. Feel free to read over the details and highlights, but once you're finished, go ahead and click the Add App button. This will take you to the Install page where you can finish installing the app to your Shopify store. From here, feel free to read over the privacy and security details, and once you're finished, click the Install App button at the top right. You'll then be taken to the steps to install, connect, and sync your app. First. Go ahead and review the pre-install checklist and make sure all your settings are correct. If everything looks good, go ahead and click continue at the bottom. This will take us to the step to connect our MailChimp account. If you need to create a new MailChimp account, go ahead and click the link. But since I'm already signed up, let's go ahead and click connect. This will open up a new window where you can log into MailChimp and authorize it for your Shopify store. Make sure you read over all the information and once you're ready, click the allow button at the bottom. You'll then be taken to the third step where you can select an audience to sync your customers in their purchase data. If you haven't created an audience yet, you can do this on MailChimp or whatever email marketing service you're using. With MailChimp now connected to my Shopify account, I should be able to see all of my audiences from the drop down menu here. Go ahead and select the audience that you want to connect to your Shopify store. Once you select your audience, you'll then see new menus pop up where you can edit your app settings your Merge Tag Mapper, your Shopify Customer Tag Mapper, and your Tags and Groups. These are optional settings, but feel free to edit them if you like. Once you're finished, go down to the bottom right and click on Sync Audience. And voila, my MailChimp audience has now been synced with my Shopify store. So once your email marketing service is synced with Shopify, you'll be taken to the Sync Overview page where you can see your synced audience and manage your settings. So now that I've added email signup forms to my Shopify store and connected MailChimp, let's head over to my Shopify store and test it out. First, let's scroll down to my newsletter signup at the bottom of my homepage. From here, customers can now enter their email address and sign up to join my Quantum Designs VIP club. Once they hit submit, their email will be added to the MailChimp audience that I selected. If I head over to MailChimp and check out my audience, I should now see the new email address that the customer just added. Also on MailChimp, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and scroll down to the integrations tab. From here, you can see that a check mark is now beside Shopify since Shopify and MailChimp have now been synced. If you click the Shopify tab, then scroll down and click on manage your site. It'll take you to a page where you can manage several options for your emails. Here you can embed a pop-up form, add an abandoned cart email, a product retargeting email, edit your order notifications, and select to enable data processing. So now that you've set up an email marketing app on your Shopify store, you can now use it to create and send newsletters and marketing campaigns to the email addresses that you collect. Simply select the audience that you connected to your Shopify store and set up email campaigns to promote your products, notify customers of deals, provide brand updates, and more. If you need help creating stunning graphics for your emails or your Shopify store, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, 
you can access the entire Canva library of images and graphics, thousands of professional design templates, the background remover tool, and tons of other awesome tools and features to help you create amazing designs for your Shopify store and your emails. To give Canva Pro a try for free, make sure you click my link in the video description. Sending newsletters and email campaigns is an excellent way to engage your Shopify customers and can lead to brand loyalty and repeat buyers. So that's a quick overview of how to add a newsletter or email sign up to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.